What up guys, I just wanted to make a video showing you guys on how I make my thumbnails for my YouTube videos, alright? Now, there's a website called createvista.com, alright? You guys want to come on over here, I'll leave a link down in the description, okay? Now, it has a bunch of things that you guys can create, alright? You guys can create a YouTube thumbnail, you guys can create YouTube channel art, Facebook covers, uh... You know a bunch of things coffee mugs it's it's endless all right you guys can create videos and everything else like that so we only came here to make a YouTube uh, thumbnail all right so click on YouTube thumbnail all right it's gonna bring up a blank canvas all right once it loads all the way up like so now it's gonna give you a whole bunch of templates over here on the left hand side you guys can start off with these if you guys like me personally I do not prefer them um, for the kind of stuff that I do on my YouTube channel okay so if you guys do not like those templates and you guys just want to be creative and go ahead and create your own we got a bunch of um, uh, utensils and utilities over here on the left hand side we have our photos not our photos but photos that they give you and these are all non-copyright images right here so you guys are feel free to uh, use these images all right and then we also have videos that they give you that you guys can use once again all non-copyrighted um, stuff right here and as well as music so you guys can definitely use their music all right um, not a hundred percent sure of the music you, you guys want to be careful of this so um, you know always always double check the see what's copyrighted and what's non copyrighted all right and then we got objects here that you guys can throw inside of your thumbnail okay a bunch of objects all right but how I create my image um, is through my files all right we got my files right here and then you can upload your own images or videos all right so we're doing thumbnails and I upload my thumbnails right here all right this is all my thumbnails and how I get my thumbnails um, I usually when I'm when I'm creating a video with my program um, one to share film more I usually snapshot a picture from the video all right take a little quick snapshot it would save on your computer okay and once it saves on your computer you guys can go to this other website right here called pixlr.com all right you can take the image right and go ahead and select photos and you guys can choose your photos right and what this does it actually removes the background of the image all right so like so it just removed the whole background all right and then we can go right ahead and save this onto your um, your computer all right so boom we got our background image all right so back to vista create okay we're gonna go here and we're gonna upload an image or a video all right so grab a bunch of pictures and you know grab whatever you guys want and bring them on over here to vista create and upload them and then select them from the sidebar here all right so i just selected one image all right so i like this image right here now uh, it doesn't look cool without text, right? We're gonna need some text. So go right ahead and hit text and then you guys can also uh, create your own fonts if you guys do not like the uh, default fonts and The style that they give you over here. You guys can choose that if you guys like so My fonts is over here and you guys can upload your own fonts if you guys want and if you guys are unsure on how to get your own fonts, they have another website called thefont.com. All right. I'll leave this down in the description as well. Okay. Thefont.com. All right. In case I do not put it down in the description. But all right. So we're looking for a specific uh, font. And all of them just seems, um, I don't know, something I'm just not looking for. All right, so I want to see what the most popular text is for my video game Grand Theft Auto. Uh, I'm, making a, I'm making a Grand Theft Auto thumbnail. All right, so I typed in popular GTA font for uh, thumbnails, and it tells me right here the font face uh, impact and bangers. All right, so we're looking for impact and bangers font. 
So we're gonna copy this right here and go to defont.com and then over here on the right hand side on the top here they have a search bar go ahead and copy and paste that in and it's gonna say impact right here you guys can choose whatever one that you guys like all right so i'm gonna go with the second one here i believe and then just hit download whenever it decides to download all right there it goes all right just download it pretty much anywhere you guys want I'm gonna save it into my downloads all right all right once that's done downloading you guys want to open it up because it's gonna be a dot zip file so you're gonna need a program called like winrar to open it on up all right so right here it's a dot ttf file and we're gonna go see if Vista Create actually supports those kind of files. So go back to text on Vista Create. All right. And now it says upload fonts down here. All right. So you can either upload fonts with that button there, or you guys can actually use this program to just drag and drop right here. It should work, and if it doesn't then we're gonna have to get a um, a program called WEBP to JPG uh, cloud convert all right so this converts pretty much any file that you guys want all right so first we're gonna extract this dot uh, TTF file the font to our uh, desktop so let's do that real quick let's close it close this out Let's extract that to our desktop. We have that now to our, on our desktop. All right, so back to uh, back to that file converter. All right, so we're just gonna drag and drop this file, uh, the text file, into this converter right here, the online converter. And now it should convert, or it should pop up actually. And then over here, where we can choose whatever. Um, file that we want to convert it to all right so i think vista create only supports a certain um dex, uh, text document so if you go to upload fonts you can see right here wh what it supports so it supports uh ttf and uh otf all right but for some reason it was not uploading so we're gonna choose uh otf right and then we're gonna go hit convert All right, but mine says uh, my account has ran out of conversion. All right, so you can only do up to 10 a day, I believe, or 10 conversion minutes on a daily limit. All right, so for you guys that wants to convert files, you guys can come on over here and do this. All right, unfortunately, I can't do it today unless you guys either log in or sign up. And I'm not, yeah, I think it does cost some money, so you're gonna have to look more into that if you guys want to do that um, so so now Vista create all right back to Vista create so fortunately I don't think we could upload our custom font that's okay because I just want to show you guys on how to all right so it does upload I think yep it uploaded all right so boom basically you just hit upload fonts and you just go to the file and it will upload all right uh, from the file that you guys get from um, that font.com okay so yeah select your font all right it'll pop up on the screen and now we're gonna want a certain text all right so I'm just gonna copy and paste. You guys can um, type in whatever you guys want in the box here on your key keyboard. All right, so in order to make this bigger, you guys wanna go up here to these numbers and the arrow, and then you guys wanna enlarge it or make it smaller on whatever your preference is. 
and we can drag it around you know like so and we could move it too we can move the little box to make it bigger or smaller as well and then we can place it right in the middle like so like the, they're gonna have these lines on the screen and you guys want to match it up to right in the middle all right boom just like that and then we have our image right here and then for our image if you guys like this image you guys want it to be your background all right just go right here and set it as background right click on it and then set as background okay boom we have that now we cannot see our font okay now we want to see our font we're gonna have to change the color on it so on your keyboard just hit uh control all to highlight all the font and then up here where it says a that is our color all right so we're going to change the color of the font and we want something that stands out all right so i believe a good red would do no red actually makes it um darker all right so i'm gonna choose a i don't know a bright color no that doesn't even do the job if you guys had like a, a color in the background it would actually look a whole lot better so we're just gonna do a neon color boom or or if you guys want you guys could just drag the image and just place it down there and then take and then press um, the left button on your mouse and then drag the image anywhere you guys want now for the text again if you guys want effects we have effects over here and we have outline we have shadow we have text box echo glitch um, reflection whatever um, effects you guys want so here is the shadow or the outline that I'm using um, transparent text uh, you guys uh, want to unselect that because that will make your text transparent with no color all right now we got color and we also have an effect where we have the text being um, shadowed by um, you know whatever color that you guys want all right and you guys can choose the color of that outline all right so now once again you guys can choose um, you know like an image like this and set it as your background and then say if you guys wanted this to be your background and then you guys wanted the border okay Go up here to border and then select this and then you guys also have your border as well and you got different kinds of um style right here all right and then here's your color you guys can choose the color of your uh, border all right and then if you guys want you can just place that right there or if that's too much for you guys boom all right so since this is a grant that auto uh, thumbnail I'm just gonna go to my files and I already have everything pre-saved you actually can make folders all right so if you go to folders right here you guys can create uh, folders right here if you guys want so for me I have a folder called GTA 5 logos this is where all my logos will be to access them easily all right so I select this and then drag this image in and then crop it from using the arrow key on each corner of the box make it smaller or make it bigger whatever you guys like all right and that's pretty much it guys that's your thumbnail and that's how i create my thumbnails all right guys if that looks good to you i mean i could do way better and i do do way better i just wanted to make a real quick tutorial all right i'm um, showing you this um how i do it Alright guys, if you guys like today's video, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and definitely turn on all notifications. Alright guys, and I'm out of here. Enjoy your day. Peace.